Hi friends. So my Glowforge caught on fire. Okay, it was a very small fire, but I ended up burning the driver belt, so I'm going to make a video about how to replace it. Just talking about the fire in general, so if you see I have a little extinguisher. It extinguished itself, I did not need to use it, but highly suggest if you do not have one right beside your laser, absolutely get one. Um, I can link it in my Amazon store just so you guys know where to I found mine. Um, but yeah, it is not something to mess around with. I'm glad I caught it very fast. Um, really what happened was my transfer paper lifted and the paper ended up catching fire, which then burnt the driver belt. Um, it had paused running because I think the Glowforge recognized that it was overheating, um, which I'm thankful for. And then I stepped in and caught it and shut everything off. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. So here's a picture of what it looked like when I caught it. And you can see the belt is frayed and just basically off the machine. So, um, th this walkthrough will obviously be missing the step of the belt being taken off because my belt is already off. Um, but we'll kind of walk through the steps on how to get the plate off and how to install the new belt. Okay, so I removed the crumb tray. We're going to, by touching the sides, not any of the lenses, remove the ribbon. You should be familiar with this if you've done any cleaning, which you see I need to do after I get this belt out um, and you can see there's some like soot here from where the fire was so I don't see any other damage other than the belt um, so we're gonna replace that and hope that fixes our issue so we're gonna remove the carriage plate um, so there's two sets of wheels, the wheels in the front, and then there's wheels holding it on the back side. So you're going to want to pull out and unload the spring-loaded wheels in the back, and then pull down. And you should feel, hold on to the back of the plate as you're doing this. So like I said, these are spring loaded so I pulled back to release them pulled down and then while this is out I'm gonna clean this fan as well okay so this is the belt we're replacing um, when you do buy the belt you know you wouldn't have to replace this metal piece um, but since when you buy the replacement from Glowforge, it comes with that piece, I think it's just going to be easiest for me to just replace that entire thing. So that's what I'm going to do. With those back on, we have the belt secured. I'm gonna do a quick tray clean and then we're gonna put the belt back on and run her up. Okay, so there are wheels under your glow forge on each side. So we are going to loop it on to the left and then on the right side of the glow forge, the wheel um, will loosen and move to the left and that will help get your band onto the wheel and then you can tighten it once the plate is back onto the arm. So we're going to do that. I'm actually going to put the loosen the wheel first. Alright, and now that the wheel is loose, it can move side to side. So we are going to get our band on there. 
because then we can move the wheel over, wrap the band. All right, important step alert. This is editing Emily, and I realized I didn't say this, and if you don't do this step, you will have to remove your belt like I did, and the belt will not be put on correctly, so please make sure the belt is placed onto the plate in front of the spring loaded wheels. I'll show this picture here so you get a clearer idea. Before you put the carriage plate on, that is the only way the belt will not get tight in areas or get tangled up between the back and the fan. So again, make sure it's in front of the wheels and you should be good to put your belt back on. All right, back to the video. I am going to hold the carriage back and pull back the wheels first to get it up and then again with my fingers on the corner I'm going to pull the plate towards me to pop that back onto the arm and then for the belt again making sure everything is straight we're gonna put on the left wheel Put it on the right wheel and then we are going to re-tighten the right wheel. All right, so we did our test cut, came out great. So I think our belt is fixed. So if you guys have any questions about the part, the process, just comment below and as always subscribe and you will see more projects from us and hopefully not as many repairs.